Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Box and in this video I'm showing you the October My Geek Box in I've just forgotten what the theme is but it's that sort of Halloween -y themed so let's show you what's in the box so the t-shirt is this one and I actually think it's really cute and I'm going to wear it on for my Doctor Who review on Saturday which is Halloween day so yeah I, I think that's cute actually and then we have this tea towel and it's got bloody hand prints on so you could use it as a backdrop for like a toy that like if you was going to do like a little Halloween video you could use it as a little backdrop say if a certain Helen was going to do a Halloween video with badges that's what I would use possibly so I think that's really fun and if you don't if you like thinking of it as blood you could just say it's loaded to tomato sauce so I like that it's cute then we got this window sticker and it's Zombie Outbreak Zombie Outbreak Resource Team so you put that's a window sticker and then I really like that we got a puzzle I'm really happy here lies Dracula can you turn Dracula into a cube and it's awesome. So I'm going to open it. Get him out of the box. Oh, he's so cute. So the idea is to turn him from a person into a cube. Now, the thing with these is, it's not just a puzzle, it's a sensory toy. I've got um, one of um, a thing like this, it's got the same kind of thing with blocks and things um, tied together with string. And it's like, I've forgotten what it's called, I'm forgetting loads today. But anyway, it's twist and lock blocks they're called. But this is, I love him. Hello, I'm a Dracula. Don't be square, or in this case, do be a square. A cowboy, I turn into a cow. Oh no, his legs are backwards. Ah, my fault. He's cute. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I think I have cracked it. Okay. His legs up behind him. Ah, his head goes back that way. So basically he's a really cute
This is fun. I enjoyed this post. Billy, you're trying to show off on a YouTube video by doing a puzzle nobody else can do. I know. You should probably get on with the rest of the box. Look, he's got a twiggly bit now on his dummy. He's skydiving. Yay! <laughs> he skydives. By the way, I love this box. It's one of my favourites. I think it's probably my second favourite after the um, Toons box. So, because I had apparently, I've got to that so far. Apparently, hello, I'm skydiving. Apparently, gate box have been taken over by a different company, which I, I didn't know. But if it if the boxes are like this, I'm very happy. Then we've got a metal wall sign, and it's a proper metal wall sign, the original metal sign from the specialist manufacturers of Bretto Wall Art. Originalmetalsigns.co.uk, designed and made in the UK. So I think that's really cool. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Because I've already got a Baker Street um, sign up on my door. So, well, I think that's real good quality. Proper sign. Real good quality stuff. I love this box. And then, the best thing is a, a whole graphic novel. Retail, the back metal retail price, $9.99. And it's a graphic novel of short stories. And it's so cool because I'm really happy that they put in a graphic novel. I'm not just happy about it being a graphic novel. I'm also happy that it's not just your standard like horror novel like oh here's a monster, oh here's a zombie. There's loads of like political stuff in it like about immigration and different and people living in different places and about the slave trade and others do and this it's just amazing that would be all cool oh wow the stories in it are suicide Routine, a lighter note, window pane, the game, blame, a heavenly note, cocaine, the pushman, Munchausen's little proxy, and the last laugh. They're the stories in this one, if you know the comic at all. Cool. This is awesome. I'll read the foreword out to you. The journey begins. Firstly, thank you for reading this book. Comics are a huge passion of mine and whenever I see people reading one out in public I have to stop myself from grinning like a kid. I usually fail. At T-Pub, we're lucky to get quite a lot of fan mail, which we love receiving. It's great to know that we are pleasing people and we like hearing what they want more of. However, people often refer to the Twisted Dark volumes as anthologies. I can see why they think that. It is a collection of short stories, after all, but it concerns me a little because there's a bit more to it. I really enjoy short stories, they're perfect for a commute or a short reading break. But I also like stories with involved longer arcs, where you get to know the characters and see how they evolve. Twisted Dark is both of these, it is made up of self-contained short stories. However, right from the start I plan for the stories to connect, and some characters to develop through the volumes. Characters you may think are minor will appear again in the least expected of places. Cool. Most people see about three connections in this first volume. You may see more, you may see less. But by the time you get to volume three, 
the connections start becoming a lot more apparent. Indeed, someone in the studio finished Volume 4 and went straight back to Volume 2 to see, her, to see if he was right about a connection. I heard a delighted, aha, when he was proved right about spotting one. Again, I tried not to, but I grinned like a kid. I hope that you enjoy the series and have fun spotting the links, because, because it is the connections that really make the journey more fun. Neil. I love stuff like that, it's so cool. And then there's this really funny one. And this is a book by Neil Gibson, not Mal Gibson. And then there's a whole page about how to tell the difference between Neil and Mal Gibson. Oh, that's f I love, I love this. Thank you, my geek box. Whoever owns my geek box now, thank you. I hope we get more graphic novels because, ah. Oh, Yay! I hope we get more graphic novels because it's awesome. I love it. So I really enjoyed this geek box with this t-shirt and tea towel. You don't... I do hope they start bringing back... Because we used to get the magazine that had that a list of the things they put in the box and why they chose them. But they stopped doing the magazine, decided to put the magazine online only, which was a bit disappointing because I, I liked getting a print copy of the magazine. But it would be nice if, they, um, if they're not going to do the print copy of the magazine in the boxes, perhaps they could do a postcard talking about the items and why they picked them and that. That would be cool. So, are you still not cube yet? But I'm not going to look at the secret, but there is a solution inside the box. So you have to turn him into a cube and if you can't do it, you can just be a friend who likes skydiving. Oh is that hanging out? What? I love this geek box. It's one of my favourite. It's cool. I love it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Yay!